see how to do ETL operation and transformation. ETL means abstraction, transformation, and load. Before that, start. I want to show you something that is important. If we are going to save this project by clicking on save all, say yes. It shows some path. We have to change the access. Let's go this part. Path in computer C drive app Provin product product plan point G holy home in that OWB OWP in that OWB in admin preference bin admin preference preference properties this one go for the properties properties security edit select allow all apply ok ok close say ok again try to save say yes so it's saved so again if i close this again i open the same project oracle warehouse design center We log in ACMA for WB if you open a project that is nothing but and there we can see the database ODBC that we have done in last practical where we import some table from uh, uh, SQL server we are going to use this table for the ETL process let's start create one in the oracle we are going to create one mapping file nothing but new map pink give some name for this map I am giving first map say ok so here we see our canvas so we have to import those table in this canvas one by one I am going to show you in the two type two ways to importing those table first I am going to import this item it will take some time to import next the region and the other way to import use the table operator right table I'm getting the table operator just drop and drop over there and you will get the all the table that we are importing in our project so I want to import regions I already import select regions post transition so select those tables you want to import and selecting three tables say ok so here we get our all the tables I'm arranging them by one by one so here is all the table so we have to collect all the columns from this table into a one table that is nothing but staging table so we are not we are not get to import all the column directly to the staging table so before that we have to create some joiner so use the joiner table in the right side so we have total 1 2 3 4 5 tables means 5 input group and over here we have 2 so we have to create total 3 in the group I am giving some name like uh, 
register region items using truncate operator 
next we are going to select this aggregator operator in the aggregator operator we are going to use group by clause for making all the input group to comes into the output group not all the data some selected data expand this input group from all the column we are not going to select all leaving primary key and amount and quantity let's start selecting double click comma double click comma double click comma double click as this much column you can see and you can refer this column so we are i have imported this much columns over there and click on validate so it validated successfully click on okay so here we created all the group by clause now again double click on aggregator directly in the output group we are going to define two new column that is amount and we will set some expression that is sum of all the amount use the above value say okay and then column that is quantity again use expression is some sold quantity sales quantity say use the above value say okay say okay after this we are going to create the staging table after this we are going to create staging table in that we are going to set all the output group into the staging table we can do create a new table in that we are going to set all the column one by one using the given the data type and the most simplest way to do in the easy way that is we are going to use again the table operator use the table function sorry 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 use the table operator in that we are going to select the create unbound operator give the name to the new table operator i am giving pause trans staging say okay here we get our staging table we are going to set all the output group into the input group of staging table so here we get our staging table so now we have completed our practical by creating the staging table if you want to deploy you can deploy by uh -huh. one more thing i forgot it to say by creating staging table it is a temporary staging table we have to create permanent so we going to create and bind after the click create and bind this table get permanently store in our database let's check out it's asking that you want to save save this using saving using this name say okay so 
so let's check how I have created and bind it in the my project database in the table so here we get our post transition staging table if you want to see you can right click and see the data let it be some telling some error it's not required so much so thank you for watching this video